I'm going to be making Lance beehive frames. So I'm going to show you how I went from this, the parts, to this, to a wired frame, to a frame with a beeswax base. Well, I've cut down some 2x10s uh, for the sides of the frame, and they're all cut to the right length, uh, 15 and 9 sixteenths. Now it's time to cut them to 3 8 of an inch wide. So I've got my table saw set up, I've got a push stick, and let's get to cutting all these. On to the next. The last piece of fabrication I need to do is cut a quarter of an inch off the sides here up to three and three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to use the router for that. I have my router bit and I have this spacer here as it goes by and a stop block. This is cut down now so to fit into the frame. This will keep it nice and tight and this will give a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, Chloe is going to drill the holes in our bottom bar for our frame and she's using our jig. So you want to take that away, Chloe? Okay. One down and all those to go. And big man, Caleb here, he is going to help me with shooting the nail, uh, nail, sorry, staples in the here. So what we need is we need one right here on this side of it and one right here on this side. And that is because if you're going to use the wiring jig, that's where you want it. So let's get this aligned. You want to pull the trigger, buddy? Good job. And we'll get it aligned here. I'll pull the trigger. And we'll have some staples right here just for the wire to dig into so it doesn't cut all the way through here. Is that all of them? Yep. Great job, kiddo. Okay, there you go, big bud. And that would be 105 we have right here, the bottom pieces. Good work, kiddos. In order for the lanes frames to sit inside the hive, they need like a little lip on there to be able to sit down inside. So we're going to cut the lip now. And I'm going to cut the lip out of a big piece and we'll rip it down just to make it easier. Let's go ahead and get started.
and they're all cut. I just have to drill them out and then put the staples in for the wires. We have our top frame pieces all cut out. We have that notch in there that's going to sit on the rim of our boxes. And now we need to drill the holes for the wires and put in these staples. Uh, when the wire comes up and over, it's going to pull against uh, that staple. And that's going to prevent it from cutting into the wood and cutting through and keep tension on there. So let's go ahead and drill and staple these. And that's one down, 90 some odd to go. Let me show you how I'm putting the frames together. One of the first things I had to do was actually cut the sides off of this. I had a one inch block here, but it ended up being too wide for my safety to get fully depressed so it didn't work. So I had to cut it off on the table saw. But we'll take one of the bottom pieces and just put some glue on it. Make sure our staples are facing towards me. A little bit of glue on the top. Make sure it's all seated well. Another frame done. Now we're going to wire the frames. What the wire is going to do is it's going to hold the beeswax base in so that when it's in the spinner spinning around, um, everything won't go flying out. So let's go ahead and do that. Lock this into the vise. And I'll put some nails in to hold it. I like to use needle nose pliers and with uh, the nail and the hammer because I got really big fingers and hands and I can't quite hold those things very well. Okay, Get ourselves out some wire. Start threading it through holes. Make sure that doesn't get kinked.
Normally I wouldn't use quite this much wire, but I got a little bit of a kink there, so I'm going to surround the kink. See, I just wrapped it a few times. Spin it until it breaks off. Now, Tighten it. Pull here till it's nice and tight. Release it off with that one. Release it off with that one. Pull this nice and tight. Nice and tight. And it's all wired. See, it's nice and tight, it kind of sings. So one down. I think I have about 30 left to do. The last thing I'm going to do to get these frames ready is to put some base in there. This is a natural wax base and the bees can build their honeycomb off of it. I have an old laptop charger and I have stripped the wires off. So I'm going to put this on here. It'll heat the wires up just enough to get this to melt in there. So we'll give it just some light, light pressure. It does not take long at all. You can start to see the wires coming through. Okay, that one needs just a hair more. We'll give that some pressure. And you want to melt it through all the way that it cuts it, but this should do it because we can see the wire here. If I flip it over, we can see the wire here. So this should hold it nice and tight. The bees will have something to build off of. This wire is going to add extra structure and support, especially once we put it in an extractor to spin it around to get the honey out. It'll keep it from flying out of there. So with one down, that just leaves me 29 left to go. And there we go. I have 30 frames all wired and with beeswax basin.